Target one, 455 yards. Impact. 274. All right, on it. This segment is called The Parallax View. You need to watch that movie, 1974, Warren Beatty. Once you watch it, you'll figure out what's going on in this country today. But seriously, we're gonna tell you all about parallax, how it's gonna mess up your shooting, and what you need to do about it. Before we get to that, let's talk about the ocular focus. That's the first part of the setup on your scope. The ocular focus is a ring on the ocular end here, and you notice that it'll move. And you need to adjust that until the reticle is completely clear to your eye. The way to do that is to look into a blank area. I like to look up into the sky actually with it. So that way my brain is not focusing on a target. It is in fact focusing on the reticle because there's nothing else in the scope. While you're looking up in the sky, I would adjust this until the reticle comes into crystal clear focus. So that's the first step in the setup on your scope. Now let's talk about parallax here and how we're going to eliminate it in the scope. Uh, more of your sophisticated scopes have parallax correction adjustments on them, either on the turret or they might be on the objective end. In either case, uh, it does the same thing. A lot of people think that these adjustments are about focusing the target clearly. Well, that's actually the byproduct of what you're doing. What you're really doing is correcting parallax error. Now, what is parallax error? Parallax is a result of having the target and the reticle not in the same plane. They're separated by space in the image processing of the scope. What does that do for you? Let's take a look and see what error that actually causes for you when you're shooting. Your eyeball would see this. If your eyeball moved around relative to the scope, you would notice that the reticle, the point of aim, the center of the reticle would move relative to the target. Let's say it moves as much as two inches. Well, you've introduced a, a two inch error in addition to whatever the dispersion of the rifle is. If you've got a half minute rifle, now all of a sudden you've got a two and a half minute rifle. Okay, now let's fix this problem and eliminate parallax air from this system by collapsing the reticle into the same plane as the target. Now, guess what? No matter where your head is or where your eyeball is, even if you have inconsistent positioning on the stock, you've eliminated that air and the rifle will shoot to its exact point of aim. Let's head out to the range and see how this is actually put into practice. All right, let me show you just how easy it is to set the parallax on your rifle. Some scopes have it on the objective, some scopes have it on the turret. In any case, don't trust the numbers, actually set it. We're gonna adjust all the way to infinity to start with. I got a target out there at 100 yards that I'm gonna be shooting at. I'm gonna take a side picture on that target, and now I'm gonna start adjusting back until the target just starts to clear up. Getting pretty close. Now I'm gonna grab my rear bag and get off the gun and move my eyeball around. You know, I still got about four inches of parallax out there. I'm going to continue to adjust, move around a little bit, keep going, keep tweaking it until there it is. Now, when I move my eyeball, the crosshair is no longer moving on the target whatsoever. So I know that the rifle will shoot to its point of aim. All right, when is this extremely important? is when you're shooting groups on paper, load development, zeroing, or just want to know what the accuracy potential of the entire system is, that's when you really need to get this parallax cranked down to perfection. 